Hello, hello guys, how's it going? Uh, back with another video on the Frame Mister. Uh, put a review out to this uh, in two parts. Uh, I've got a little bit of um, an extra overview here, a bit of an update. Uh, I've been trying lots of different consoles and I've been running through everything in 60 hertz. I've tried a few consoles running in 50 hertz and I found some interesting things. The uh, Frame Meister does run 50 hertz signals but it doesn't do a very good job of it everything I've checked through like the Freedio, my Freedio view if you have a look at that that'll give you some sort of idea it literally probably didn't do anything to the picture at all and uh, so at the moment I've got Sonic Airjog running on the Meg Drive um, first of all I'll do I'll show you running it in 60 hertz uh, with the lovely scan lines and everything run up I'll give you a bit of a close view with the screen and then uh, what I'll do, I'll flick, I'll flick the machine to 50 hertz, and I'll show you what the Frame Meister does. Um, like if you look at the status, yeah, you know, see you running through 720p, uh, all being a nicely upscaled 240p image, very nice. Looks pretty stunning. But what I'm finding is that if I try anything through the Frame Meister, the PlayStation One, for instance, the uh, Mega Drive, the uh, the Mass System, the SNES. You could very not very good results at all. I I know like you know this this unit was you was bought in Japan and it is made primarily for sixty hertz signals, uh, but it does have fifty hertz compatibility. But it's not great. Uh, but like I said, most things you're going to be wanting this unit for is running through sixty hertz anyway, so it shouldn't really matter. But if you've got anything fifty hertz, I got to be honest, I I don't think I would recommend it. If you're using something 50 hertz, you might be better off looking for some other scaler. But at 60 hertz, it is the nads like. So what I'll do, I'll uh, show you. I'll show you what I mean. We look at the Sonic. Look, Sonic is running here. You can see him jumping around. Whatever looks quite nice. And uh, what I'll do, I'll uh, show you the screen a little bit closer. Give you an idea what I'm talking about. Right, so if you have a look at Sonic here, you can see the lovely scan lines. You know, if you have a look at the uh, picture, all looks great. You know, it's nicely done. If you have a look at the trees over here, you can see the scan lines and everything. It's nicely put together, and overall, you know, the picture looks pretty stunning. You know, it runs really well. Everything's nicely upscaled. So what I'll do, I'll put the uh, camera back down in a minute. Hopefully with this uh, stand I got, it'll work out a little bit better. Give you a better picture. Right, so, what I'll do now is I'll flick the Mega Drive to 50 hertz, And you'll see the, the signal difference. Right, we flicked to 60 hertz, uh, 50 hertz, so as you can see the music is gone slow as shit. Which is not good. And when you look at the screen now, I'll bring you a little bit closer. When you look at the screen now, you'll see it has upscaled it a bit, but the scan lines have disappeared. They are there, I don't know if you can see, if you get really, really close, maybe not that close, the scan lines, they are there, but they're very, very faint and very, very small. If you look back at the trees. You see all the nice scan lines are gone, and it's just the Mega Drive says it's not too bad. You notice it's not doing that great a job, like. And if I turn the scan lines off, just to show you whether actually the scan lines are on. So if I actually turn them off. You see, all, all it pretty much does is brighten the picture up a bit. It's like it upscales the picture and smooths it off a bit, but the scan lines don't work properly, so maybe it's something to do with the resolution. It doesn't display. And I, I've tried this on the PlayStation, I tried it on the Saturn, I tried it on the uh, GameCube, and especially 480i pictures on PAL don't look very good at all. So, 
So yeah, that's a little, little bit of sort of an update to that. Uh, to see if I got something easy and quick I could show you to give you a better idea of what's going on. Um, don't think I have at the moment. I haven't got nothing plugged up. But I say it's a bit of an update. I would say from what what I'm seeing is the Freemeister is not particularly great at 50 hertz. It will display it and it will tidy it up a bit but it, it all depends on your connection like if you're running through composite say I know composite's a bag of shit but if you're running through composite really badly doesn't do anything to the picture hence the, my 3DO review because that's 50 hertz um, if you're running through SCART it does a better job of it and 480i in um, 50 hertz is not that pretty either so I just wanted to do an update on that. So I, I would recommend really if you run in all your consoles, the UK PAL consoles at 50 hertz, you may want to look for a slightly different scaler. I don't know what's out there, what's best available, but uh, it definitely doesn't put, perform as good as it does in 60 hertz. Let me flick it back to 60 now. I'll give you a quick look at the screen again, and then I'll show you my other thing I want to discuss. I flick the scan lines back on. All right, we go back in now. We're back on 60. And as you can see, put the scan lines back on. It looks very, very nice indeed. Um, don't know what's going on there. It's like certain consoles look worse than others. Like the uh, the PlayStation One looks horrendous in 50 hertz, really bad. But in 60, it's perfect. So that's the that's the one thing I was talking about. So if I can find it, I'll show you the second point there. See if we've lost what I was looking for. Crazy when you got something, you put it down, it's right in front of you, and then you pick it up and it disappears. Maybe some preparation for this video might have helped. Uh, note to myself in future. No, it's definitely not here. Hmm, strange. It's one thing about having a black carpet. If you want to go looking for something, Black, a black carpet, it's an absolute horrendous thing. Aha, found it. Right. So the other thing I want to talk about, on my review I put a link to a power supply. Uh, recommended by a few websites which I've put the links on there. On the internet has been a good UK replacement. I don't know if you can see it, it's this power supply. It's probably not going to focus too well now because the screen's on. Try turning the screen off and see if it focuses, that's a little bit better. Yeah, it's this power supply. Um, it was recommended and I put you a link to it, which I'm probably going to remove from the review. As, it, as you can see, it's uh, a pretty good replacement, 5 volts, 3 amps. And it was recommended. Uh, what I found is this this power supply will run the frame mister. But what I'm finding is when you're using this power supply and getting sync issues. Um, say for the PC engine for instance, I had no sync issues at all, but when I'm using this, you're getting sync issues and the picture is sort of flicking and sometimes losing sync. And I found it on a couple of other consoles and a funny feeling. I've done a bit of research online, and it looks like the Frame Meister doesn't have a smoothing circuit inside the uh, equipment itself for power supplies. So it looks like the power supply will need to be, you know, proper smoothed, smack on five volts power supply. And with this one, it probably isn't. This is why I'm probably getting uh, problems. So, to be honest, I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't recommend buying this power supply because you're going to run into the same problems as me. It does work, but 
it's got issues it doesn't you get problems with sync so I'm going to take the link out um, so I wouldn't recommend buying this power supply there was another one recommended um, that's on Maplin but that's 24 quid but that's it does look like a better power supply it's more like a PC type power supply it does multiple voltages you get multiple ends with it and it's a full switching uh, power supply so I, I'm pretty much, I tested this power supply as well with my multimeter and I'm getting 5.2 volts. So this may be something to do with it. Maybe the voltage is dropping and it's, it's not quite as smooth. So I wouldn't recommend this power supply guys and I will remove the link from my uh, reviews. So anyway, that's just an update on the frame meister. Um I'm still very, very pleased with the unit. I think at 60 hertz I'm pretty much... More, everything I got, especially the 240p stuff, is fantastic. Uh, 480i is, can be a little bit of a mixed bag. Uh, once you get it set up right, it does look pretty nice, but it doesn't look as nice as 240p stuff. Um, the component still looks good as well, but it does take a little playing around to get it looking a little bit sweet because the initial, the, the default setup is a little bit off. But uh, apart from that, I think the unit is pretty amazing. And if you're buying it for your SNES, your NES, your you know your Mega Drive, SNES, um, what else is like the PlayStation One? And as long as it's sixty hertz, you cannot fault this device at all. So anyway, that's what I want to let you know. Sync issues of fifty hertz. Well, not sync issues, but problems with not that great fifty hertz performance. And the power supply as recommended, I wouldn't buy it basically. So anyway, that's it. Thank you very much. Catch you on the next vid.